So today I'm going to speak uh, how we move the data analysis out of conventional data center, or uh, at least a proof of concept of it. And as Phil before, I need to step back in the past a bit. And as you saw in the spoiler, slightly more than one year ago in September, in the first next flow workshop, when I was here to present a pipeline we developed in NetsFlow, it's called YAMP, and allows analysis of uh, wall shotgun metagenomic data from raw data up to the functional characterization. And it uses container for uh, ensure uh, reproducibility, which is a big problem in science. And, but during the talk, rather than speaking about YAMP, what I was telling everyone was how much NextFlow has been a game changer for us. I started with about 50 very messy script I edited from other people. And in less than two weeks, I managed to have a pipeline elegant up and running successfully. And uh, mostly what we like it on NextFlow is this reproducibility. It allows now all our analysis to be reproducible. So if we are not sure about something, we just press a button, as we saw this morning, and everything works. And it's not only us enthusiastic about this. I'm retweeting Francesco here. And uh, another strength of YAM that is actually a strength of NextFlow is that it runs on any Unix-like system, and also, as we heard many times today, on Amazon Cloud, and now also on Kubernetes and Google. That's very cool. And this is very good for us because at Kings, where I work, we have access to three different cluster, and the three of them support three different job scheduler. So with NextFlow, I can just change two lines, and I'm sure that my script runs on the three of them. And again, Francesco, I, I like to quote you. And uh, we love portability. And uh, because NextFlow, it's a very mature system, you can really develop locally and deploy remotely, and you know that everything is going to work. Uh, so directly from this morning, NextFlow, reproducible computational workflow across cloud and cluster. However, something I wondered is, OK, we can run uh, cluster, clouds, but it would be cool if we could run NextFlow and therefore also YAMP on uh, miniaturized, high-performant pieces of hardware like this one, which all of us have in our pocket. Because if you can run metagenomic data analysis on a mobile phone, it means that you can run metagenomic data analysis from virtually everywhere. And this has a huge benefit for scientists, clinicians, and patients alike. And thankfully, I had the opportunity of test this idea during an hackathon. It was the first biodata hackathon organized in Cambridge, but they welcome uh, uh, campus. And one of the truck, one of the challenge, was to use, indeed, mobile phone for biological data analysis. And was organized by ARM, which provided us with their latest chip, which is the Thunder X2, that is amazingly powerful, and I hope will be available soon on smartphone. And uh, what we did in uh, less than 36 hours, I teamed up with five other people, which are here left to right, Oliver, Chen, myself, Yanis, and uh, Yun. And what we did, we managed to port the complete YAM pipeline on ARM. We ran some analysis, and we managed to win the challenge, and also to get some sleep. So how easy or how difficult was this? And the answer is, most time in life, it's always, it depends. So first of all, how difficult it was to install NextFlow? And was as difficult as saying one, two, three. And sorry, Paolo, I took a screenshot of the website because I couldn't do it, explain this better. And that's exactly what we did this morning. So one, we checked if Java was there, and it was, so yes. Then uh, we just fetch NextFlow, install it. It took about five minutes because the Wi-Fi was a bit busy. Uh, then we'll run it, and it worked. And we were something like, wow, we are going to win this challenge because it took us you know, five minutes, and now we can just pitch, and that would be cool. Uh, there is a problem. <laughs> 
Well, actually, ARM support Docker, but it's very slow. So what uh, we spoke with the engineer, we had ARM engineer there, and what they told us is, you know, if you want to be competitive, you go, need to go native. We were not too scared. YAM just need four pieces of software, needs BBMAP for the quality control step, Chime to evaluate the alpha diversity, Metaflan 2, which depends on both I2 for the community characterization, and Human 2 for the functional characterization. We decided to drop out Human 2 because it was not relevant for the project we were trying to make. And that's very easy on the next floor. You can just add a condition, as we saw also this morning. So not much changes to the pipeline. And we started to install the other software. And we were pretty optimistic, you know. Nextflow got installed in six minutes. All this will be done in two hours. That's a screenshot of our Slack channel. It's 1 a.m. of day one. Uh, that's Yanis and me desperately trying to install both I2. There was no way of having it running. At some point, we got uh, access to a tutorial, which has been provided by one of the ARM engineer that was there, and it didn't work. So here we are, 1 a.m. say, <clears throat> Alex, can you help us? And even worse, time, uh, Yun managed to install it only on 9.34 of day two. So uh, yes, not as easy as next flow. And indeed, concluding, there are two take home messages here. The first one is that not every piece of software is as easy as to install as next flow. And the second one is that, okay, Nextflow, it's a very mature system. You can develop locally, deploy remotely in cloud cluster, and as also in mobile device. So I fixed the slide. I <laughs> uh, would like to thank the people that were with me in the hackathon. Without them, I couldn't have ported this because I couldn't have installed all the software. June, Oliver, Yanis, and Chen. Paolo and all the other organizer for inviting me here. And I'm happy to take any question. Because you were not there doing this. <laughs> What kind of data sets can you analyze with it? So where are the limitations? Uh, the limitations are in the smartphone. I mean, to run this uh, digital, the metagenomic pipeline, you need about 16 gig of RAM, which is not available <laughs> on a smartphone. But this R1, the one we had, have 36 gig of RAM. So I don't know when this will be on the market. But if you have some analysis, you, I mean, you don't need so much RAM, or you can just ask for less RAM and having longer running time. I mean, let's say that now you have a nanopore. You know, every, we know about nanopore. You can do your sequencing virtually everywhere. The problem is that for doing the analysis, you need an internet connection. And you cannot get a reliable internet connection everywhere. So if you could really do it on a smartphone, or if you are just running uh, an amplicon rather than a wash shotgun metagenomic, you need even less RAM. So technically, you could run it on your smartphone. We'll move on. Okay, thanks.